the star of the entire week was Ryan Lochte, the Olympic swimmer. There will be men's wear and women's wear by Ryan Lochte. Finally. Welcome to News Beast. I'm Tony DeCopo here with Julia Klausner. Julia, actually. Julia Klausner. But you got the last name right. Uh, we just met, so not to be blamed. And Isabel Wilkinson, we're talking Fashion Week in New York, which uh, closed last night. Endless models, hundreds of designers. Isabel, you're going to help us with some takeaways. Make sense of this for us. Well, first of all, in terms of people who were there, the star of the entire week was Ryan Lochte, the Olympic swimmer, who is trying to parlay his Olympic career into one of a fashion journalist and a designer. And does he have staying power? I mean, is he going to really make it in this industry? If you ask me, I... I don't, I don't think so, but he is working very hard at it. He's releasing a line of bedding. Mm. What? So, which is... <laughs> which makes complete sense. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, isn't he famous for being practically naked most of the time? It seems weird that he's at an event that's mostly clothes-oriented. <laughs> Although the bedding, you know, between the sheets, nudity... Right, that's a nude person's right. clothes at yeah, night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so. And he'll also be able to, he, you know, you'll wear men's, there will, there will be men's wear and women's wear by Ryan Lochte. Finally. Right, exactly. <laughs> so he It's the label I look for, really. Right. Been... So he was everywhere, um, as well as Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Mm -hmm. um, who I was wondering what that No was. Fashion Week would be complete without them, of uh -huh. course. Um, and obviously there were some, you know, clothes as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> um, there, you know, Marc Jacobs showed an incredible collection that was filled with stripes of absolutely every variety. So you are very already on trend, Tony. I was happy to read that in your piece <laughs> that I'm on trend. Um, now, you had an interesting question that you walked around uh, the, the show with, and it was a political question. It was, would you, designer, dress Anne Romney? I mean, hmm. what kind of answers did you get back? Well, unsurprisingly, I got very diplomatic answers in that people said, of course, they would dress Anne Romney. They, you know, aren't willing to claim a candidate, you know. People wearing Obama t-shirts will say. Oh, right. Okay. So obviously the fashion crowd is a famously Democratic bunch. And it was very obvious, even sitting in the front rows, you had people who were so decked out in every style with giant Obama t-shirts on. You had, you know, models hosting Obama fundraisers at night. And then during the day, I, you know, when you, when you actually talked to a designer on the record, no one would kind of say, you know, I'm Camp Obama because they know that if Ann Romney wears their clothes, it will still drive sales. Right, right. And the only person that really told me that was Georgina Chapman, who's the wife of Harvey Weinstein, and they hosted an Obama fundraiser at their house two weeks ago. So, so she said she wouldn't dress she, No, she, she said that she was obviously on Team Obama, but she, you know, she's not willing to say, to go so far as to say that she would... Turn down the gig. Exactly. And, and so, I mean, what's the elite opinion of Ann Romney's style versus Michelle's? Well... Michelle Obama is very styled. She looks amazing in clothes, and she has a real love of fashion. She looks great in everything. And she does high and low, you know, in this really kind of savvy way. Whereas Ann Romney right now, she's trying so hard to look like a first lady. And particularly her dress at the RNC, it was Oscar de la Renta, bright red, nails, lips to match. It was first lady central casting. She was Fox News ready. That exactly. That blonde in a red ensemble is so like Republican. <laughs> exactly. And it was so Reg it was so Nancy Reagan and everyone cares about street style now. Everyone wants you to kind of mix and match and be creative and individual in your style. And I think that's why uh, Mrs. Obama has gotten so much attention on blogs because she's constantly creative and mm -hmm. surprising people. Mm -hmm. So it is a little boring I think for readers to look at Ann Romney and see her in a mm -hmm. you know a red mm -hmm. all matching mm -hmm. yeah. dress. What I care about is cat style. And, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> God, me too. Miss Klausner, yes. you went to a cat fashion show recently. I Can did. I was that? up to the task, and I did my job uh, with, with Valor. I went to a cat fashion show at the Algonquin Hotel. Um, I covered it for the Daily Beast. And there are cats in this world. I'm not sure if both of you know, but they wear clothes, and it's a wonderful thing. There weren't um, a lot of diversity. There wasn't a lot of diversity in terms of designers. There was only yeah. one designer. But there was a lot of diversity in terms of cats. There were long-haired cats, and there were hairless cats, and um, all kinds of crazy people. Is this purely 
uh, cat fancy, or is there a practical reason to dress your cat? It was pretty fancy, mm -hmm. yes. Um, is there a practical reason? Yeah. Define yeah. practical. Well, you know, like dogs wear no, no, booties no, no, sometimes. No, no, I know, I know what you mean. The um, socks on the sidewalks. <laughs> I, I, there was a veterinarian Surely for the there. hairless cats, it would have been practical. That's what the veterinarian said. He said that, um, first of all, he stopped laughing, and then he said that there is actually a, uh, a, a practical purpose to a hairless cat wearing something that it's mm -hmm. natural. I mean, I don't care for hairless cats personally, but they do look cute in coats. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess the final word is our tradition here, so we might as well wrap it up here. Do you have one? Should I go to you ready? Otherwise, I, you'll get the pie. I guess okay. Lochte Nation. Would Lochte be, Nation? Uh, cats, cats, cats. I know that's three words, but... <laughs> <laughs> cats, cats, cats. Uh, stripes. That's all the time we have for News Beast. See you next time.